Okay, so I was thinking of a uh, video idea to come up with, and I thought about it, and I actually did a live stream a little bit ago where I got multiple people some um, gins. I mean, I got people Kurama, I got people, um, I got people Giyuki, I got people um, Matatabi, I got people Shukaku. There was tons of different gins that were shown in that live stream that people were able to get. So I thought, why not make a video about how to level your gin? So the quickest ways to level your gin. So the first thing is automatically, everybody already knows it, first one is to auto click. Now, if you don't know what an auto clicker is, you can just go on Google, search up auto clicker.exe. You will find the first one, click on it, download F6, and bam, you're auto clicking overnight while you're sleeping. And you just leave your computer running or your laptop running, and you're able to uh, go ahead and level up your gin. So, one of the problems with that is, is that actually when people do it in a public server, that people will attack them and when they get attacked they'll get hit away from training logs so let's say you're auto clicking right here and someone just walks up and they start hitting you and they make you dash away so then you're just hitting air for no apparent reason and that messes up your auto clicking so the number one the first way is get a private server so private server is a game pass for ten dollars you buy it and you have private servers. Right now I'm in a private server actually, where I am by myself in this private server of the Hidden Leaf. And nobody can join it at all because it's my own private server, like it's only me. So I can sit here, take out my Psyken six tail gym, and then just train it overnight like this. Now that is probably one of the most obvious ways is to get a private server and leave it auto clicking but another thing is is actually moves so people normally when they get a gin their first thought is to just hit on logs your gins actually have certain moves and those moves can actually affect some of the xp you get so most gins always well every gin practically has a special move and if you click on z while you're in the form you have an ability Psychons is these little bubbles that stun your enemy and then Also, most people don't know that if you hit Q You can do a roar ability now if you're using a weapon you use a right click you block and then you hit Q and It will roar now that's gonna give you way more XP than just normal punching Now most people in order to use moves, they would have to be sitting there. Now there's this thing called Tiny Task that you can download, and Tiny Task actually gives you the ability to uh, record certain things that you are doing. So you can record you doing the moves, and Tiny Task will automatically set it up to the point where your character will do it overnight, using the moves over and over again. Now, most people, they don't leave it auto clicking because your mode runs out now that's why tiny task is so good because tiny task allows you to set a record so when you're auto clicking and let's say your mode runs out your tiny task activates and it will automatically start holding on z and then once you get back to your max bam now you're back into your gen form and auto clicking again so tiny task has a set way of basically setting it up to where you can do practically anything and it, even if you don't have a gin you can still auto click overnight better using it just like like using tiny task is very good like it's a very good method another thing is to actually go into parties now when you go into a squad you want to have the lowest ranking person there lowest level person get all the quests and then the highest level people will go and kill the actual enemies. Now, when you're in a gin form, if you're in the party, you are getting XP. Like, no matter what. And the XP, most of it goes to your level, but some of it goes to your gin. So, you can go downstairs, let's say, eat dinner, while you have your gin form activated. Let's say you're running tiny tasks, so that it will set it up to where even when your node runs out, it will put it back. You have people doing the uh, actual quests then bam, you're just getting constant XP. So that's one way. 
Now, if you have, I'm pretty sure it's the four tails. If you have four tails version of whatever gen you have, or it's just, it's just a black cloak. Or if you have the, the um, like for nine tails, it's the four tails version of it. And when you have that version of it, every time that you actually transform, it actually does damage to the logs. Now I can't do it because I need to have the uh, four tails version for Saiken which is at level 340 but Saiken I've had Saiken for maybe an hour or so and he's already about almost 231 like some of these leveling systems look very good I would recommend that you use number one tiny task number two have people doing quests and then number three using your abilities with these gins those will be very good ways in order to get a lot of XP running for your gins and that's the probably quickest way in order to do it because nobody has time to spend hours and hours on training these gins and not only will you get money from the rewards, XP, you're also just staying there doing absolutely nothing. You could legit be sleeping, you could be in class, you could be doing practically anything and you would still be getting better at this game. That's why some of these methods are so effective. All right, so that's the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these methods. I hope these methods will help you guys out. Uh, please like and sub, I greatly appreciate it. Those will be very good things for my channel. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the video.